William Hunt's several role sponsors the Trilby Tour. The Perfect Gentleman's Playground. This week, the Trilby Tour is dedicated to Terry Maester Welsh, along with our very best wishes. Trilby Tour rocks up in Worcestershire and the players are let loose on the saucy course at Got It Loose. A wet night has turned into a wet morning, but the ground staff have worked wonders. So while the grass may be damp, spirits are typically high. Coming up in the show, we have all the best of the play from a damp day in Worcestershire. There's a mini meltdown during the four-man three-hole playoff to determine the champion of the county. And we'll watch the desperate and deluded hack their way round the course in Rogue's Gallery. Laura Woods hides under a brolly to interview players on the first tee, but now he is the only man who can make sense of the day, our commentator. Rob Lee. Thank you, Mac. It's a damp old day at Droitwich, just outside Worcester, for the Trilby Tour Championship of Worcestershire. But the players are hardy when they come to the Trilby, and they mean business. Let's get to Laura on the first tee. Thank you very much, Rob. As you can see, it's absolutely soaking wet out here. My bacon sandwich is getting very soggy, but luckily, this is Rudy, and he, this is your course, isn't it? it so is. you can tell us a little bit about it. Come on. Yeah, so it's 21 years old. Um, it's maturing every year. Greenkeeper's working hard at it. Um, greens are slowly getting faster and faster as they can shave it closer. Um, trees are ever growing. So it's a testy front nine. It's all about putting the ball in the right spot. Back nine's a bit more open, open the shoulder up. But That was almost poetic. <laughs> the trees are ever growing. I have to tell it a lot. I that was, that was my favorite. Well, what about these conditions? How tricky is this going to make it? Uh, it's going to be tricky. It's for sure. It's all about keeping the clubs dry, I think, mm. today. Um, Wind will play a big factor, uh, it's prevailing wind, so it's normal for here, but it's all about how the guys can keep their club, clubs dry, I think. Yeah? Yeah. All right, I can't wait to see you play this. It's <laughs> going to be quite good, isn't it? Do you want to bite in my sandwich? No, I'm all right. I've had my breakfast, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> more for me. Good luck. Thank you. So, Rudy, bacon sandwich lists from the first. Oh, it's a good swing. Very good swing. This has got a left look about it, though. Oh, it's good now. Cracking drive. Look at the conditions. Blustery. Let's talk about the trilby. This isn't your first time in the trilby. No. So what keeps you coming back? Um, entertainment value. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good walk. Um, no, it's enjoyable. Um, played in this uh, a few times. Um, done all right a couple yeah. of times. It keeps you coming back for more. It does, doesn't it? What yeah. do you mean done all right? Um, qualified for the Buckinghamshire several years ago. Yeah. Um, had a few injuries since then. Oh. Knee troubles, back troubles. So I have played in some so recently. Yeah. Um, Are but you yeah. Fighting fit now? I wouldn't go as far as to say fighting fit, <laughs> but um, getting there. Getting Simon, there. It's, it's quite a day to come out and play around the golf, isn't it? It's beautiful. Typical English summer. Yeah. Let's check out the action then. Simon Gardner's swing for the fairway wood. Oh, nice. Very good. Eight handicapper. One to watch, I reckon. And just in the light rough. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. First hole's not very long. Just 381 yards. 
Now this is Andrew, he is a dad of three and your kids gave you something really nice, didn't they? Yes, yeah, so they gave me a match ball today, uh, Owen, Thomas and Ruby. They are three-year-old twins and that's Ruby, my daughter. Good me. And I can't thank my wife for letting me come today. What was it that made you want to play on the Trilby so much? This is my third time yeah. and I really do enjoy it. Just love the competition and it's enjoyable. And how special is it? I mean, I can't believe you've got three-year-old twins and a third kid as yeah. well. That must be quite hard to keep hold of them. Yeah, Owen, um, my son's um, well into golf. Mm -hmm. He's a member at the local club and um, one day he'll be better than me. Really? Great. And you're quite emotional, aren't yeah. you? Why, why are you emotional? Does it mean a lot to you today? Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, tell me about that one. Just because I'm playing in fr on, the on the telly and um, in front of the cameras and I'm playing for my kids. I can't wait to watch you play and I bet they can't either. I'm sure you're going to make them proud. What you don't know is that William Hutt was just behind Laura there and he saw him and he thought, oh, this is actually too much for me. As was the first tee shot. But he's going to relax and he's going to get better as he goes into his round. Reasons to be cheerful. You ready? And your, and your name is? My name is Laura Woods. Hello, Laura. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from London, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice, yeah. nice, nice part of the world. It's a, it's a lovely part of the world, right on the river, actually. Really nice, yeah. Partner. Okay. Are you uh, excited for today? I'm really excited. I'm really excited because I heard that you were playing, and that you're quite good. Oh, do you know what? You've got terrible information. You are. Oh, is this misfed? Hold on, are you not the right person. No. Is it someone else from Wales? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, tell me what you're going to be like. Uh, pants. Pants. Does, but does pants mean bad in, in Welsh the same as it does in English? It does indeed. <laughs> oh dear. All right, give me a sort of an expectation of what school you're going to get. Well, the last time I played Yale, I scored 12. <laughs> That's great. I mean, that'll be all right. You yeah. can do a little bit better yeah. than that today. Well, I hope I hope I do better than 12. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. What about off the first tee? You've had a few sort of spurious shots. Where are you going to end up? God knows. <laughs> Only God knows. Well, good luck. You, should I take this? Yeah, you can. And you should take your club and your glove and yeah, uh, yeah all the best. Good. Thank you. Thank you lovely to meet cool. you. Club buddies. Man with two first names, Paul John. Other way round, he'd be a pope. Uh, oh dear. Twelve points is starting to look very good for Paul John. Rob, let's just before we start reflect on Forest Hills last week, please. A uh, bit of a mess up. I, I messed the 18th up twice. So on the real game, I, I thinned a wedge into the 18th green, and then on the nearest pin, I fatted a wedge into the 18th green. So. And what are we putting this down to? Pressures of the cameras? Pressures of the, of the occasion? Um, rubbish golf, really. <laughs> rubbish Just rubbish golf. golf, yeah, basically. Oh, it's that simple, really? Just rubbish golf? Yeah. Have you corrected it? Do you feel a bit better about it today? Yeah, yeah I th I've, I've corrected it. I think, uh, I think I'll go on to win today oh, with really? a bit of luck. This is what we want to hear. We want to hear confidence. Everybody's sort of, oh, I don't really know. You're going straight in there with a win, are you? Oh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. why not? And what makes you so confident? I'm playing well at the minute. Yeah. I played well last week, just had two bad shots. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I want to prove him wrong. <laughs> wants to prove the producer wrong. Everybody does. Good luck. Lovely to speak to you. <laughs> Thank you very Take much. Care. Cheers. Well, the producer's sat right next to me now, <coughs> perusing his fine handiwork. Wilkinson. smooth that's all right no problems down there at all bit of sunshine which is nice better than the rain out to the golf course then and simon gardner par three sixth not a long one just over 150 yards second par three on the golf course and that's an excellent shot so birdie chances for gardner as the rain continues to tumble down for her chick just short of the seventh and a little flat look, a little 7-iron chip and run. Neither the 6-iron. Coming towards the end, 21 points, Andrew Green. Now, come on, Andrew, the family's watching, all the kids. Mm. That's a big miss hit or a wrong club. Paul John's fourth at the par 4, 14th, 12 points. He's poised to beat his last previous total. Oh, look at this. I think the 12 points, the glass ceiling is gone. Shattered. Gardner for the two at the sixth. 12 points already. Oh, get in. 15 points after six holes. He is flying. Herchik's par putt at seven. 
Gets 12 points. That's in the conversation. Mm, one slips by. 32 points in the end at this stage in all that rain, leading the clubhouse. The first par three on the back nine is not the 12th, it's the 10th. That's 160 yards, but 12 is 201 yards. It's a biggie. And soft conditions. That was a really well struck iron shot. Gardner still pumping out the birdies. 20 points through seven holes. And that's full of water. He's going to have to drop it out of there. You saw the splash. Into the bunker. Not very nice. Green for the par. Up and over the hill. Down the slope. Keep going. Mm. At least six feet left for Andrew Green. Paul John's fifth is not quite good enough. Oh, and look. 17 points, Paul. 17 points. Take that back to Wales. Nobody speaks to you. Lashing out the bunker and just a little too much sand. It was nearly a good one. He's got shots to play with, though, Simon Gardner. Green's par putt at the 15th. 553 yards is good. 32 points. Joint clubhouse lead. Will it be good enough? Well done, Andrew. 12th hole for Wilkinson. Birdie putt. Starts to turn left to right around here. No, just a par. It's good. It's not an easy hole. Birdie for Gardner. Oh, he's holding another one. 38 points. Actually eased up at the end. It's a great round of golf for the eight handicapper. Let's get back to Laura at the first with a Trilby legend. This fella here was once the greatest ever Trilby Tory, and they asked me to say that. You know, it's quite a great yeah. title, isn't it? Uh, yeah, no, I'm pleased with it. It seems like a long time ago now, yeah. but uh, <laughs> nothing like living on past glories. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you're dining out on that oh, for a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. Now, your mate took over, wasn't it? Paul Lewenen. Paul, Are you still yeah. good friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul's done well. He works really hard at his golf, so he, he deserved the win last year. He's yeah. uh, put a lot of time in, yeah. yeah. Have you sat there and thought, I want that title back now? Oh, yeah, of course. Otherwise, why? Everyone who enters right. thinks they can win. Otherwise, mm. they wouldn't enter. So, uh, All right. yeah, yeah. And how's the form at the moment? Um, I don't know. I haven't played for a few months, so we'll see what happens. That, that can either be good or bad for me. I either come out and play well, or I look like I've never seen a club before. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. I cannot <laughs> wait to see you off the first tee. Good luck. Cheers. Thank, thank you very you. much. Now, notice the Hunt hip swivel. He can cut a mean shape on the dance floor, old William Hunt, you know. Don't let the hat belie his... Silky style. What about Vos? Hang on there. It'll take that all day long. Thank you very much. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. The perfect gentleman's playground. Welcome back. We're at the William Hunt Trilby Tour Championship of Worcestershire, just outside Droitwich. Very nice golf course. Not so long. Best score of the day has come from Simon Gardner. 38 points. He's the man to catch. Intermittent rain, so it's improving. Bloomer, 151. Need to use his loaf here. And that could be very awkward. Former Trilby Tour world champion, James Vos, Coming towards the end of his round. Needs a big finish. Oh, and he just might get it. Those leaden skies, but the sunshine keeping the spirits up for the players. And that's one way to clean your club face. Very old-fashioned, that without tobacco. 201, the 12th. This has got a left look about it. How far left? A long way left. Oh, it's over there. Look at that. Downslope, treacherous position. Back to Bloomer. Played the lob shot off the upslope. The right shot, and he played it very well. So he might escape with a par yet. Votes for the birdie at 15. Get there, get there, get there. Not quite. It's another two points. Back to the Stokes pitch now at the 12th. Difficult. This won't have any backspin on it. 
Confirmation. Wilkinson needs a nice tidy finish now. His second to 14 off a really good tee shot. Just short of the water hazard. Bounce up from the front of the green and release. And creep closer. That's more than acceptable from down there. Birdie putt coming up. Bloomer's par putt at six. Ah, it's excellent. 12 points to this stage. Level with the course. So it's all going rather well. Stephen Bagshaw. Plays at Warfield Golf Club in Shropshire. Fourth Trilby Tour event. So he's no stranger to the pressure. No. Oh. That wasn't necessarily evident. That's what he's got left. Well, the cameraman almost found the flag there. It wasn't bad. Stokes for an amazing par. Great chip. So he might escape with a bogey four. Wilkinson birdie from the back edge at the 14th. No stroke here as it turns towards the hole. Go on. Oh, referee. Bagshaw to save par from right of the green. Well, he's got it up over the bunker. And he played that very well. Might well wait make a par four. That'll do. Bloom is third now. Coming towards the end of the front nine to the par five eighth. 524 yards. So play it as a three-shotter. You still have a birdie putt. And that will be from only three feet. Shot of the day. Yep, the step has improved in pace. He's gallivanting down towards the hole now after that shot. Great shot. Wilkinson at the 15th. Last par five on the course. He's played very steady today. Seems to be playing most of his stuff from the fairways. And with a bit of excess check. Unfortunate. Taking it away from the target. Still birdie putting, though. Stokes for a very good bogey. Yeah, well done. Well done, young Stokes. Bagshaw, a long way off with his second. Beautiful pitch to here. Left to right. Right in the middle of the hole. 34 points. That is in a playoff for Stephen Bagshaw. And it may be due to that up and down. Wilkinson, we saw the approach spin away from the hole. So, birdie putt. Has he read it correctly? Has he? Has he? 36 points. Playoff position for Rob Wilkinson. 38's in the clubhouse, remember? 36. Looks certain to get a chunk. Bloomer's going well in the front nine. Deserves a birdie here. Oh, well, disappointments. Tangible. 34 points in the end for James Bloomer. That's right on the cusp. Might not be enough. So let's get out to the golf course and join Laura to look at the playoff holes. Cheers, Rob. Yeah, the playoff holes here are the 1st, the 12th and the 18th. I'm standing now on the first fairway. You can see a bit behind me. The tee there is rather elevated. And I'm going to have a little chat through the playoff holes with Josh Thorpe, who is the PGA professional here. Josh, talk me through the elevated tee just to start with. So the elevated tee brings a lot of wind to this place, especially off the first tee. It's always into it, so it makes it a tough opening hole. Um, as you can see behind us, we've got the, the flag here, which is sloping hard from left to right so anywhere down the right hand side of this fairway make it a, a much easier second shot to the green a lot of the amateurs today will probably favour the left hand side where you'll have an uneven second shot but that's due to the out of bounds on the right as it's uh so josh here we are on a 12th tee this is our second playoff hole a relatively long par three 201 yards before we even talk about this i can see a bum bunker before the bunker i can see some water how tricky is this it is a tricky hole. I mean, as you said, it's 201 yards, so it's not the shortest of par threes. Um, a lot of amateurs will be going here with probably a long iron or even a short wood today. Um, so getting over that water is key. Uh, the green, it's hard from left to right on the, on the slope, so anywhere left of that, going down into that flag is a really, really tricky chip. So um, you want to kind of be, ideal shot will be long right hand side of the green. And another elevated tip. Another, ele another elevated tee, which, which will get the wind picking up as well. So club, club selection is always a difficult shot. On to the last one, the 18th. Yep, let's go. And here is where it all finishes up. We're on the green on 18. Our final playoff hole, a par four. Josh, I can see a lake, I can see a bunker. How do you play this one? This one's relatively a short hole, but ideally you want to leave yourself about 100 yards, I'd say. Um, you don't want to get too close to those bunkers or, or even close to that water. 
I've seen a few people at drive here today and put themselves in a bit of trouble. So um, I'd say a longish iron off the tee, leave yourself a short wedge into the green will be the best option to play. Not only that they have to contend with, but also quite a healthy crowd, especially on a day like today with the Trilby fans. It is a healthy crowd and I think it uh, puts a bit of pressure on the players, makes them a bit more nervous, which is, which is great for the game, so it's brilliant. Here they go on. Thank you very much for your time. Back to you, Rob. Thanks, Laura. Yes, 38 points, still the target. Nobody looks like he is going to get past that, but all the others that are trying to finish nicely have got to keep their Trilby games in top shape, including James Vos. His second to 18. So he took a chance with the driver, hit it all the way down there. And that tipping away from him was pretty good. Stokes's approach to 15, 26 points at the minute. Get close. Look at the spin. Check those grooves. Votes for the birdie for 35. Well struck. Oh, it's crucial. 35 points. Absolutely crucial. That's why they call him James Killer Vos. No nerves. Stokes for the birdie. 29 points if he can knock this in. With a stroke. 37 points. So we've got a 38 and a 37. A 36. And we know that Vos is in the conversation with his 35 points. So no nearest the pin because we have our top four without any need for further action. Simon Garden with 38 points, the best qualifier, Mark Stokes with 37, Rob Wilkinson 36, and James Vost. Those are the four that will play off of the championship of Worcestershire. Here's Hunt's Hunch. Simon Garner, one of the coolest cookies you'll ever meet on the Trilby Tour. Rocks off after going missing for a few years and puts in the game of his life. Fantastic day for him, fantastic for his family, and he, he fancies himself, he's very, very cool. Gets no shots on this. He's an uh, eight handicapper, no shots. Mark Stokes, I don't know Mark Stokes, but he's a local boy, that's got to give him the edge. Got to give him a massive advantage, and he gets one shot on this thrill playoff. Rob Wilkinson has got momentum. He's been playing well, playing better and better over the years, the Trilby Tour, and this could be his year. Can this be his day? But then they come up against James Killervos, the most decorated Trilby Torian, and one of the hardest men to beat as we saw in that last hole, sinking a fantastic putt to get in this place. Who's my choice? It's got to be James Killebos. Well, William once again has put the sword of Damocles hanging over the head of James Killebos. He doesn't deserve it. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. The Perfect Gentleman's Playground. Welcome back to the playoff for the Trilby Tour Championship of Worcestershire. Four men, three holes, and only one champion. Up first, Simon Gardner. Hi, um, my name's Simon Gardner. I'm 36, I play at Chesterton Valley Golf Club, and I'm playing off eight. The front nine was pretty spot on, 22 points through the, the front nine. Back-to-back um, -back birdies, which always helps a card. Um, so yeah, no, it's been, it's been a, a good performance just got to sort out the bad shots. One was fine, 12 and 18 were a little bit ropey. I pulled it left on 12, which is a no-go area really. So just got to try and keep it straight down the hay diddle diddle. And just using a fairway wood at the first. He's kept that rhythm very nicely all day long. And it'll serve him well. quite staying on the fairway. Hello, I'm Mark Stokes, uh, 41 years old, member here at Gorday Loose, playing off a handicap at 14. Started off very badly, uh, one point after the first two holes, then fortunately picked up a little bit. Um, cracking back nine hole, two long putts on the last two holes, um, just sneaked in under par on the last green with a birdie, so yeah, pleasing. Well, I started playing golf again last year and joined here um, with a, a colleague from work and it's such a wonderful, friendly club, there's, there's sort of no cliqueiness. Uh, within a, a few weeks of joining I've got regular chaps to play with, the competition's a great play for the teams, it's just brilliant to be back in the game. Good chat, good talk, feeling good, the swing, oh yes. Nicely struck, still going. Rob Wilkinson, 53, um, playing at the Coventry, playing off six. It's been very good. Yeah, played well. Um, Blob one hole in the front nine, stupid um, tee shot. 
but other than that I played very steady. 18, parred it, one parred, just missed my birdie. Can't remember on 12, I'm honest. But looking forward to it, I'm gonna win it. Confidence, nothing like confidence. Came here unshaven, maybe it's his lucky beard. Oh yeah. Well, top skills from the first three. What about the pressure on James Vos? James Vos, age 39, Witchwood Park, handicap six. Up and down, started very slowly. <laughs> There's three or four holes, I think I left my brain in the clubhouse, but uh, yeah, no, picked up, picked up, so no complaints. I've got a pretty good record in playoffs, so uh, I'm, I don't know, it's, it's three holes, isn't it? Anything can happen, I can shoot seven, eat on each hole, you know, you just, you just don't know, do you? Let's see. You just don't know what's coming. Driver, got the big dog. You always worry slightly when the claps get louder as it goes along. That's a long way down there. I think he's okay. I think he's all right. Looking tight, concerned. Too late now. Wilkinson from the first cut. Good grip. Pretty good looking shot. Yeah, excellent. So birdie putt up the first, just what you want. Rob Wilkinson. The elegant Simon Gardner. Another good grip. Similar line to Wilkinson. Distance. That's pretty similar. That's closer. Stokes. Local man. Now this line is much better. This is straight at it. Terrific. Front edge, but spot on line. Now has James got a clear shot here? Probably just. Yes. That's eking left, this. How far left? A little nudge to the right, but a very firm bounce considering how soft it is. That was a surprise. Back edge. So Vos of all, th of all four players under pressure. And here he is with a chip and run. Back up the green. With a putter. Oh, quite a bit of fringe to come through before it hits the putting surface and a long way at the flag and it was a big ask that. Look how slopey it is. Maybe should have chipped it. Mind you, haven't seen his chipping recently. Maybe should have putted it. Stokes is putting. Knows these greens. And that's a lot of swing from left to right. Should be good enough for his par. Strokeless, so it's a gross par for all these four players at the first. Wilkinson's birdie attempt up the hill, left to right. If you're standing the other side of the hole, right to left from there. Two putt par. Gardner with the best approach. Now this must go left to right. Oh, he hasn't hit it, but he hold the next one. The eight handicapper. So level. James Vos has to hold this for his four. Oh, brilliant putt. Robbed. Second and third shots to blame. So he's one over par. He's the man chasing. But will he have company? Mark Stokes. Look at the grip. Oh. That is the pressure of the Trilby Tour. You can get into the last four and you think, I've got every chance here, and you make a mistake at the first. There are only two holes left, and the second hole is the 12th, the par three that's 201 yards. Difficult, difficult hole. This is tense. I mean, Simon did not fancy that putt, and he should have really done better with that, but uh, Mark Stokes is uh, feeling the pressure. Because they're all them horrible little putts. Wilkinson, he's got, as we said, he's got momentum. He's a great player and he's coming really good after. He's about his 10th year in the Tour de Tour. He really fancies it and he's got momentum. But Vos, he's a great player. Can he still do it? My money's still with Vos. This is tense. Exit stage left. Gardner. He needs a wood in here. Struck it well, but just a little hint of fade, maybe. Not much. What a shot. 
he's maintained that rhythm for the whole day. Wilkinson, similar club. That's going left. Come back, he said. It didn't listen. Now we've seen that pitch from before from over there. It's tough. Stokes playing catch up. That's an excellent shot. Brilliant. Two outstanding shots. The woods, remember, but an iron for James Vos. He's long. And wide. Very wide. Ugh. There's a hazard there and all sorts of... Mm. No price down the right-hand side. Could be a hazard. Disappointed. Oh, and there it is. There is the Vos ball. He's having a go. Oh, dear. Oh, no, it's gone backwards. So that's two. She's going to have another go here. Two. He's in the hazard, remember? That's three. Anybody seen the movie Caddyshack? Here comes his fourth. Well, he got it out and he's asking for help. Fifth shot. This is where you know your Trilby Tour has just gone down the plug hole. Too much, too late for James Vos. He's gone. As has Hunt's Hunch. So, to the three survivors. Wilkinson. After going a long way left. Well, he's found the fat of the green, but miles away. He's got that to make for his par. Remember the tee shots of Stokes and Gardner were excellent. Still Wilkinson to go, and it's his third. That's not a bad putt from down there, but it's a bogey. So he's one over par going down the short par for last. Simon Gardner in a fantastic position. Because Stokes is one over. But he won't be if this goes in. What a two this would be. Right idea. It was left to right a hair. It was a par, so he remains one over. All depends on the skills of Simon Gardner. One under after two. If this goes in. Come around. And at the end, it's going to be a par. Level part. He will have the lead. What does he do? Play safe off the tee or take the driver out? Going to find out. He'll have the honour. James had to go for that. You know, he's, shall I drop it? If he drops it, he's not enough. So he had to go for it. But it, he should have just chopped it out of there. So I was trying to play a shot. And it, it's hurt him. It's more, more than that's hurt me. Because my prediction, once more, is out the window. I've got one right this year. This is not Hunt's Hunch anymore. This is Hunt's Humiliation. Simon Garner's looking very, very cool. Rob could be breaking apart. So, James, I'm sorry, pal. You are, you are no longer the killer. That was a mess. Simon's looking very, very cool. It's got to be on Simon, hasn't it? You know, can Mark hold together? Everyone's here supporting Mark. Gets a shot in this hole. He's one behind, but he gets a shot in this hole. Simon is your man. We're going to change it now to Hunt's never been a hunch. Useless. Gardner with an iron. Percentage play, that's for sure. Takes the water out of play and it's just a wedge from there. And he has the lead. But crucially, Stokes has a stroke. Up the last. Well, they like this. Down the right, a little bit of draw from right to left. That's perfect. There for nothing. Fairway wood for Rob Wilkinson. He's going to have to make a gross birdie. At the very worst. Now James Vose, nothing to play for. Too many over par. Might as well have a smash here with the driver. Yes, go on. Great. 
flushed it. Let's see how close he gets to the green. Yeah, lovely shot. Just short. Remember the birdie he made in, at the end of his proper round to make it. Not in the playoff, though. Gardner. What about the Imperial Rhythm? Now that's there in two. Not bad. He's making other people do better. He's not making a mistake himself. That's critical over three holes. Wilkinson. Birdie. Essential. Eyes only for the flag. Uh, and that's an amazingly fortunate bounce. It gives him a shot. Better be lucky than good. That was lucky. Stokes. Net zero, so this is his first shot here with that stroke. Now, will he find the putting service? Yes, he has done. Yeah, well done. Putt for a net two, and that would all of a sudden go from plus one to minus one. James Vos bunkered after a big drive. Look at the tricky next one he's got. Oh, lots of swing, lots of cut underneath the ball. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. A sign of things to come from James Vos, I fancy. The game's still there. The Gardner. One under par if he can knock this in. Oh, my goodness me. Got a little carried away with that. Sometimes you see the trophy and the speech and it's all focus in the wrong area. Stokes for a net two. It's quick. Oh, and he learned a lot. So he will finish level par. Oh, he's been unlucky, hasn't he? It's been really unlucky. Terrific effort. But one over par is not going to be enough. We've got a level. James Vos to finish in style. Not quite the bird he was after. And not quite the playoff he was after. However, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Pressure now for the first time on Simon Gardner. Oh, it's a magnificent putt. So he finishes level. He was up to it, wasn't he? Big style. Tap in to finish level. So it's extra time. Gardner and Stokes. Back to the 18th tee. And uh, yeah, that'll do nicely. So no stroke this time up the last for Stokes. You get them in the playoff, but not if it's got to go further into the countryside. And this one is right-ish. That's all right. Look at the pressure. Look, no one's talking. No chit-chat. Too much at stake. Second for Stokes. Oh, it's a hosel rocket to the right. That is not what he was looking for. What an opportunity for Simon Gardner. Well, the most elegant player here today. And his game has just not let him down. It's been there every time he's gone into the well. He's come up with a bucket of water. Bunkered Stokes. This is awkward. Very awkward. Thin. It's avoided the hedge, thankfully, but now he's played three after a loose second. This is his fourth. Even if he knocks this in, Gardner will have a putt for the win. It's a very well played shot. No way. Oh! <laughs> Nearly the par of the century. But Simon Gardner now knows that two putts him a champion in the Trilby Tour. Stokes for the five. Yeah, and he makes it. Well, he asks a tiny weeny weeny question. 
of Simon Gardner, but surely he'll learn from the, the first putt he had down here how fast this is. This is a dribble down to the whole side, please. And that's exactly what he did. If it was going to fall in the front door, fair enough. Just one inch to go before he becomes a Trilby Tour champion, the Trilby Tour champion of Worcestershire. An amazing performance from Simon Gardner. He was the medalist on the day, the lowest score when everybody was out in the golf course and a deserving winner. Fantastic. We're now well into the second half of the 2017 Trilby Tour. Just two more regional championships left until we have all our champions and qualifiers decided. We then take a trip to Magnolia Park for the Trilby Two's Pairs competition before the World Championship final in Hull. The series ends on Christmas Day with the traditional Rogues Gallery special. Now, let's have a word with the new champion of Worcestershire, Simon Gardner. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's, um, it's a hard piece of cut glass to get hold of. There are, there are so many decent golfers out here um, that, that come out and play these competitions and, you know, likes of James, James Rose and Paul Llewellyn. Um, I've been put up against those two before many a time and come short, but not this time. Shot of the day goes to Martin Fraser for what we're choosing to call a magnificent chip on the seventh and definitely not a fluke that would have degreened if he'd missed. Next, the less fortunate who feature in Rogue's Gallery. And first up is the demonstrably inept Paul John with one of his better efforts on 15. Also on 15 is Andrew Cheney with that rare beast, the complete miss. And on the same hole, Darren Jones does slightly better as he actually hits the ball just straight into a hedge. Now, we only caught the very end of Trevor Taylor's little war dance this week, but we definitely caught this pathetic chip immediately after it. Welcome to the world of the regular rogue, Trev. What can you do, eh? On the 13th, our cameraman lost track of this approach by David Oliver, but was soon alerted to its position by the frankly hysterical reaction of players on an adjoining fairway. Also on 15, we were entranced by this almost slow motion swing of Michael Brown, but less enamoured of the resultant chip. We all like a player with a sense of humour on the Trilby Tour, and Peter Beckenham clearly has one. <laughs> I have got to laugh if you play like that. Stefan Gadula being, well, not very Gadula, if you ask me. To be fair to Terry Maester Welsh, this tee shot on the sixth only appears to go straight into the hedge, when actually it only nearly went straight into the hedge. Pedestrians in peril now as Mark Coogan uses the opportunity of his last approach of the day to try and crack a few innocent shins. Now we know this is Rory Easthope because Rory is a well-known Trilby regular. What we don't know is why he's played this the wrong way up the fairway on 14. The flag's behind you, Mr Easthope. Long before his playoff meltdown on the 12th, Here's proof that James Vos had a practice meltdown on the 12th during his round proper. Darren Ballinger attempts to enter the Who'd Be a Cameraman file with this tee shot on 12. But unbeknownst to him, apparently this challenge now features moving targets. Thomas McNeil on 10 clearly thinking, It'll be alright, just don't land behind the hedge. It'll be alright, just don't land behind the hedge. It'll be alright. I've landed behind the hedge. Tom Hartley has played on many fine and beautiful courses throughout the world of golf, but rarely has he played quite as badly as this. A rare entry into when rogues go right now as Andrew Green manages to turn this terrible tee shot on the 12th into a miraculous birdie opportunity. If you could just let the cameraman have your lottery numbers, Andy, we could all have a share of the luck. Rogue stalwart Gareth Evans returns with not one, but two terrible concurrent shots of the 18th. Reliable as ever, Gareth. Reliably terrible. Finally, the laws of physics declare it impossible to reach the lake at Godit Loose from this position on the 18th. 
With one splash, however, Jade Kelly demonstrates that science will never explain the mysteries of the Trilby Tour. Here's William. Absolutely deserved winner, probably the coolest winner we've ever had. But he was unshakable today, you know, he got 38 points and he just sauntered round. I've seen Simon now over 10 years, this is his fourth attempt and he was here the first time that we ever played a Trilby Tour and he was, he was a cool guy there, it was 15 handicap. Now, he's come down from 15 to 7 and as he said to me, that's the best I've ever played in my life. Will he replicate that again in Hull? I don't know. Like, great people here today, you know, Alec, the, the, the guy who owns this and his family on this place, they couldn't have been more welcoming to us. It's what golf's about, you know, as I said before. If all the pros stop playing golf, we'll still play. And that playoff was as ten better than any golf tournament I've ever seen at any pros. More tense, more passion and, and real belief. Next week, the Trilby Tour goes to Dorset and the spectacular Isle of Purbeck. In the meantime, if you'd like to get involved in the Trilby Tour, please contact us via the website at www.trilbytour.com. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Are you, laughing? you know when you got so cold your lips yeah. won't move. Okay. Lips won't move. William Hunt Savile Row sponsors the Trilby Tour. The perfect gentleman's playground.